Thank you very much. Um, and first of all, I have to say I've, I'm a little bit astonished to hear from my good EPP colleague that it's actually the climate policy that is responsible for the cheating of the cars in Europe. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, but let me turn to the um, discourse of the Commission, and I hope it's not due to the replacement of Mrs. Biankowska by Mr. Katainen, that today you are so weak and not serious enough about the reaction that you should give to what's happening. I'm sorry to say so. You know, Mrs. Biankowska, we, we've had a good cooperation in the past, and I hope that can continue and that we can be very firm, because let's be honest and look to, to what happened, for instance, on the recall program of the Volkswagen. Huh? The Commission expected it to be completed by the fall in 2017, the, fall, uh, the autumn, sorry, of 2017. Well, that is today. Three million cars haven't been recalled yet. And it's not only that, it's also the other cars that has, have been cheating and the differences in the different member states, like some of them are mandatory, the others are voluntary, some are only on the national car, man, uh, car market and others are different. How shall the Commission make sure that all consumers in Europe have the same rights? How will you do that? I haven't seen an answer. And it's not about the past alone. We also have to look to the future. And yes, we have to care about our car industry. But a new era is coming. It will be electrified. It will be sharing mobility. And if we do not make sure that we do that for our industry, that we do not make sure that we have zero emission mandate, then the cars will be imported from China and otherwhere in the world. And our car industry will have a big problems. Also, um, these millions of people. And let me uh, finalize by quoting a former commissioner, a Liberal commissioner, one that was very good, Potocnik, in our AMIS committee. He said, we must stop killing industry with kindness by giving to, into the calls for less ambition, longer time to achieve it, and allowing loopholes. Let's make sure that we have a future for our car industry and that it is sustainable. Thank you very much.